Welcome back. So tell me, has this ever happened to you? You hear about a sale on the Epic marketplace that is now known as Fab. You go and check which assets are available now for a discount. You go and rummage through them and you get like page after page after page of listings. And all you do is click on sale to get the, the ones that are actually discounted. And despite that, it's like jumbled in a mess and you can't actually sort and uh, select what you're after because the groupings that are available right now are kind of sparse, right? So we all know that Fab has a lot of problems and one of them being that it's not really mature yet. We have lost a lot of functionality from the Unreal Engine marketplace that we had before. We have lost the reviews. We don't know what the stars mean, things like that, questions, etc. So if you want an alternative, there is one available that might be interesting for you. It's called the Orbital Market, and I'll leave a link down below. Essentially, this is an alternative that worked against the Unreal Engine Marketplace and now works against Fab. And here you can go in and click in and you can get the different listings that are available. The nice thing about this is that it does have a lot of filters and functionality that Fab does not have. For example, one of the things that peeves me a bit is if we have a black market sale, for example, they say that things will be discounted up to 70%. So you might be interested in what are these things that have 70% and everything that is 70 is lost among all the things that are 50 and 30 and so. Maybe you just want to find the best discounts just to see if something is of interest there. Uh, for Orbital, you can go to sale range and you can actually put in a slider here where you want to have the, the limit that you want to see. So if you would just want to see the 70 percenters, you set the 70 percenters and that's what you find out. Now, in this case, I have it to 84 percent. So I get the stuff that it's uh, appearing as free here, which is among the uh, free for the month kind of assets. Uh, in addition to that, you also have uh, ranges for time periods. You have ranges for uh, the different versions. Uh, minimum and maximums you have for the price for the ranges for the price you can have categories so you can say that you are only interested in animation and audio and ui maybe or something like that and let's take all of it and then you get all of the criteria that are matching that and then you can also display it in a few different ways you can have boxes listings and, and uh, uh, lists um, in addition to that you can also search you know descending and ascending uh, way you can also search on things like, or have it sorted by things like popularity, price, release, your reviews, for example. So if you want to see which stuff has the most reviews of all the different things, you can go in and check that as well. Uh, so if we were to go in categories and we toggle all of them, we can see here that among the most popular things are the ultra dynamic sky. And if we go in here, we can see that, oh, look here, we have reviews. They are still available here. Uh, from the Unreal Engine Marketplace era. Uh, hopefully they will keep them until we get new things from Fab and hopefully they will just, just keep adding on this. Uh, you can also go into the questions and see the different questions. These are all valuable things for a consumer to get um, access to, to make a decision if this is an asset that they want to get. In addition to that, you also have price history where you can see how the price have fluctuated uh, during different periods. If the the asset creator has increased or decreased the price and stuff. It does not take into consideration sales. These are just like the, the, the real prices, so to speak. So yeah, and in addition to that, you also have the detailed description, technical description, things like that for, for each asset as well. So you do get a lot of things in the orbital market that you currently do not get in the fab marketplace, which is sad and unfortunate. Uh, so maybe this is an alternative for you to browse around with if you want to until Fab gets a little bit mature. Oh, one more thing before I forget. You also have the ability to search for things like uh, authors. So you can get, if you find an author that creates an asset that you like, because let's face it, there's a lot of trash on the Fab marketplace right now. Uh, and Epic does not seem to be doing a whole lot about it from what it seems outside from. Uh, so this is a way for you to find an asset that you like. Maybe you then trust that author a little bit so you can see what kind of stuff that person has uh, in addition to what you already got as well. So that's useful to do as well. Anyway, hopefully this was useful to you. Keep on learning. Take care. 
A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from.